Hello and welcome to the Gradual Report. Today, we'll be testing the effects of helium on human beings. Uh, this is gonna be fun! Welcome to the Gradual Report, where we gradually report. The human being we'll be testing on is myself and, and our special guest, Robin Greenberg. Yes, he is a Jew. Robin, which color balloon would you like to inhale? Light blue. Light blue. Excellent choice. Here you buddy. I'm gonna go with the light green. Keeping with your bag colors. What you wanna do is just tear a little hole here. Right here. Right here. When that starts to leak air, you just inhale the air. Okay? Here we go. And then when you talk, you talk. Go ahead. You talk like a crazy person. You talk like a little bitch. Like you're a little bitch. Are you a little bitch? Slinks galarin is. You're not a little bitch. You're a big bitch. And then you're talking normally. <sighs> you're not supposed to just breathe out, dude. <laughs> No, you can't, you can't. You're doing too much. It's so good. The way helium works is helium is lighter than air. It has less volume than air, if you will, on a molecular level. That's why it floats, because it's it's lighter. Now, when you talk, you're breathing in air, and you're breathing out air, and air is going through your vocal cords and traveling at about 900 something or others per minute, whereas helium travels at, you know, seven or eight times that speed. So it actually sounds higher pitched, but it's not actually higher pitched. It's just traveling at a faster rate of speed because it's a lighter gas. That's what's happening. Go ahead, have a have another balloon. Take, so take a couple deep breaths of air, though, before. <sighs> and one of the problems that you can have with helium, though, is that uh, you are depriving your body of oxygen. So if you breathe helium and only helium for an extended period of time, uh, your brain won't get any air, and you will die. You will die a very hilarious death. <laughs> hilarious. You're an addict. Well, it takes me to know. And when you're normal, be sure and take a couple deep breaths of regular air to provide your brain with oxygen so you don't pass out. Orange or blue? <laughs> you need to take some, some fresh air breaths as opposed to helium breaths. Oh, I got a big hole. Ooh. Jesus. That's what happens when you when you when you fuck around, mister. Here, you can have some. Ooh! Mine's big too. That's what she said. <laughs> that is what she said. It's a common misconception that breathing too much helium will freeze your vocal cords. That is not true. I love you, my little lemon drops. And I'll see you on Friday when we continue our very, very, very important work. I like helium. You like helium. We like helium, too. Helium, 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 helium inside you. What do you think of that? Pretty good, buddy.